Today's training theme is going to be intensity control. Last week we explored the national training system KSL breath pattern that I refer to as two mountains, one plateau. Today we're going to explore how that breath pattern impacts intensity control. So let's review the goal for the day. The goal for the day, successfully use the NTS breathing pattern, what I call two mountains, one plateau, to consciously develop better intensity control from the pressure point on the bow side all the way through the back to the draw side. So I want you to feel connected all the way through there. The standards for today, one, feel stronger sense of connection bow side through the back to the draw side on 90% of the shots. And I want that connection to come as a result of the breathing and being aware of the intensity control. Quick review of the breathing pattern that I want to use. For more details, please see the video that we shot last week. So this is, these are the two mountains and the one plateau. Here we have the inhale leading in to the top of setup and the exhale coming down the mountain as we coil down and establish barrel of the gun. Here we have the, in, the next inhale, which will be a slightly deeper inhale as we go through the drawing and loading and anchor. And then we have a slight exhale right around transfer. And then we're going to be holding for holding, finding holding mentally and physically. And then we'll also be holding our breath for expansion and all the way to the end of follow through. All right, holding our breath all the way to the end of follow through assures that we maintain or build the intensity of our back tension throughout the shot. We want to end up at the end of the shot with more back tension than we began with. And if we let our breath out before we get to the end of follow through, we're going to lose the intensity control of that portion of the shot cycle. Okay. You'll notice the percentages here. These are rough percentages for where you could be during those portions of the breath cycle. The important piece being here that we do not want to empty our lungs completely and we do not want to be uh, filling our lungs all the way. That takes a lot of energy. When you're in set position, after you've already established your hook and grip, your arms are in the right position, your elbows inside the arrow line, and your head's in the right position, Go ahead and take a nice deep breath. All right. Breathe in. It's okay if the chest rises here. You really want to fill up the lungs without using a lot of energy. So just be a, a natural deep breath, not a forceful deep breath, if that makes sense. And then go ahead and exhale that breath. As you exhale, go ahead and push the towel against the wall. All right. And that towel against the wall is an analogy that I've used before. I have another video that talks about that particular cue that we use. And essentially, it's a tucking of the pelvis and a flattening out of the hollow in the back as if there was a wall behind you and a towel in that curve of the back that you're pushing firmly against the wall. So inhale, exhale, towel against the wall. You'll notice when you exhale, you're going to feel your shoulders and your chest come down a little bit. And as you push your towel against the wall back here, you'll feel your core engage. That core engaging is going to lock your ribs and your chest down. You want to remain engaged in that way through the rest of the shot. The glute bridge works on core muscles of the lower abdomen and the glutes on the back of the hips. Start with feet hip width apart and place the soles of your feet flat on the ground, knees up. Hands will be by your side, palms down. You will not be using your hands or arms for this warm up. First, tilt your pelvis so that you are flattening the hollow of your lower back as if, as if you were grabbing the towel, the cue we use for stance in some, with some of our athletes. Lift your hips first off the ground towards the sky and let the lower back follow. Hold the posture at the top of the raise and engage the glutes firmly for about five seconds before relaxing them and lowering them down in a controlled manner. Repeat as many reps as prescribed. Do not push on the ground through your hands. The up and over shoulder warm up. Grab an extra long stretch band, pole, or even a bow stringer. Start with the stretch band in front of you. Raise your arms up, keeping your arms straight, so that the stretch band remains parallel with the ground and is over your head. Breathe in as you raise the band. 
Exhale as you let your arms complete the rotation as far behind your head towards your back as you can comfortably complete. For this warm up, go ahead and raise your arms straight out to your side, about shoulder height. We'll be doing arm circles fairly slowly, really focused on the back. Go ahead and do reverse circles. Inhale as you go, are going up the circle, and then exhale as you're coming down the circle, and really focus on increasing the intensity through your back muscles as you exhale. Pause at the bottom of the circle, and then inhale again as you come back up, and exhale as you come back down. Let's pause there for a moment. I'm gonna give you one cue. Land two is a reference point between the shoulder and the elbow. And let's imagine for the purposes of this exercise, let's identify land two on both arms. So land two, when you focus on this spot, I want you to be able to move your elbow all the way through your shoulder blade, all as one unit. Okay, so this entire unit, as you come back down the circle of Treyu, will move your scapula down and in, and the same thing. Have this entire unit from the elbow to shoulder to shoulder blade all move as one unit down and in here. Go ahead and relax. Shake it out, you were up there for a while. And then try again, raise your arms out to the side and go ahead and go reverse circles. Inhale as you go up. Exhale and focus on land two, moving the elbow through the shoulder blade all as one unit down towards the spine. Hold it there while you really exhale to the bottom of your breath. Focus on the intensity control at the back. Inhale up. Exhale as you come down, really focusing on the intensity control get deeper with the exhale. Good, let the shoulders really sink low. Inhale up. The first part in this four part progression that I'm going to walk you through will be breath cycle reps at set position. We're going to do 15 breath cycle reps in just the set position to make sure that you begin to imprint a little bit what that breath cycle should be like in set. In the progression step after this, we'll be combining set and set up. But let's do 15 breath cycle reps at set position right now using the following cues. Inhale, from here, out, and towel. Okay, so as you go out, feel yourself deflate a little bit, push that towel against the wall behind you, all right? So we want a consistent breathing pattern at set and you need to get to the base of that first mountain the same way every time. So let's go ahead, do 15 breath cycle reps at set, using the cues in, out, and towel. In, out, let it deflate, push the towel, good, and then shake it out, and then do it again. In, out, push the towel, and then do it again. All right, we'll do 15 of these. Atreyu, can you feel your, what do you feel as you do that deflate? What do you feel happening? I mostly feel a lot of uh, tension in my back pulling towards, I'm really focusing on that towel going to the wall. Okay, what do you feel with your chest and shoulders? Kind of a downwards pulling. On to part two of this four-part progression. Part two involves 20 repetitions of set and set up using a stretch band. The goal, remember, use the breathing pattern to increase intensity control and really become aware of intensity control. In set, we've already been over the details. You're going to be inhaling to fill your lungs, exhaling to deflate through here, push out, uh, push the towel against the wall. Then you're ready for setup. You're ready for the raising of the bow. The inhale will take place while you're raising the bow. And at the top of setup, this is where you begin to exhale and coil down. And inhale as you raise up, 
exhale as you coil down. I want the raising of the bow to be faster than the coiling down. So you're coiling down, maybe let's say for the purposes of this exercise, coil down, let's let, let that take about two times as long as it does for you to raise the bow. So really let that exhale settle in, help you settle in to find your back tension. Remember when we were doing the, the warm-up exercise with the arms out to the side and you let the exhale really help you find that back tension. Let's do the same thing with this, except that back tension will be on just one side, on the draw side, on the side you're coiling towards. We're not drawing, of course, in setup, but on the side you're coiling towards, let's feel that intensity. Cues that we're going to use in set, remember it's in, out, towel. For setup, it's going to be away and around. And let me show you what that means. I was inspired by Coach Charles Rendleman out at Ithaca Archery in New York by this particular cue. I'm changing it up a little bit and adding some tape. So away and around, let's, let's see what that means. I want, the, I want you to put a piece of tape on your bow hand and another piece of tape on the corner of your draw side scapula, okay? So as you coil down, I want you to focus on that exhale, but you're going to and be building the intensity control, be working on intensity control by driving this tape away from you and bringing that tape on your shoulder blade around your spine. Try getting it around your spine without any drawing action. So, all right. Cues in set position, in, out, and towel, in, out, towel, and then for setup we have a way in around, and that's going to apply to the coiling down. Here we go. It's going to look like this. Set. Try okay. 20 repetitions, 90% of them have to be what you consider spot on. Here we go. Part three of this training progression involves applying the breathing cycle to the rest of the shot cycle now. We are going to do 20 of these with a stretch band. I recommend you use a mirror so you can watch your form. Remember that the goal today is to apply the breath pattern in national training system, what I call two mountains, one plateau, to your shot cycle in a way where it allows you to increase your ability for intensity control. That's what we're looking to improve upon today. So, Let's give it a try. 20 repetitions with the stretch band. 90% of them have to be spot on. Part four of this four part progression involves you going to get your bow, shooting four ends of six arrows, doing your best to apply what you just practiced and trained on with the stretch band. Reflection questions I want you to consider for today. Describe how connecting the breath cycle with controlling intensity impacted your experience. How close to the 90% success were you? More importantly, how successful do you feel after this training session? Identify three gems you will take away from this training session and apply to the next time you shoot. I recommend writing them down in your archery journal.